Are you mixing your track in GarageBand and you can't quite get the volume sounding right? Well, maybe volume automation is something you want to check out. Automation lets us actually actively change the volume up and down as the track actually plays. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use automation to automate your tracks. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music through tips, tricks and tutorials. So if that's the sort of thing you're into, consider subscribing. But today we're looking at the automation feature in GarageBand because it can be really tricky to get your track sounding at the right volume level in the mix. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick guide to all the things you can do with automation. Let's jump in and take a look now. This is one of my recent tracks here in GarageBand. At the moment, it sounds like this. Smell of frustration. So we've got our vocal track here and what I'm going to do is show you how we can use automation to change up the vocal sound, to fade out the vocal sound and to remove some breaths from our vocals. Now this is part of my quick jam series which means it's going to be a crash course in automation. If you want to learn more about automation there's a video linked up the top there and in the description you can check out. But let's dive in now and start automating this track. To enable automation, we need to tap right here on the microphone icon. And when we tap on that, we get this set of options. Now, what a lot of folks do when they're starting out is they'll tap out here and then tap and get this set of options. That's not what we want. We actually want to come here, tap right on the icon of the instrument or the vocals, and then tap the automation button. And this is going to take us into our automation section. Now, to add an automation point, we need to slide in the top left to turn this lock off. And now we can actually add in points. So let's tap a point just before the start of this track right on the very start of the track and then right at the end of this section and then maybe another one here and what you can actually do now if we slide in the top left we can move either the points or the line so let's show you both of these now say we wanted to increase this whole section where well, we tap in between these two points and we can drag up or drag down and if we drag up this is going to increase the volume of that particular section so let's play this and you'll hear that it'll go from a, a higher volume down to a lower volume golden then why are you loud don't take all of my time so you can hear there that we had that degrading volume there. We could do the same if we wanted it to be much lower, which is probably more what we would want to do in this case. So we'll tap off that to get rid of it. Just tap out of there. We can also change the point. So if we grab just the point here, we can actually move this. And this gives us more finite control of exactly how much we want to fade it up and down. And we can move these points around. So just keep these in mind that every point is a volume control. And you can see when you tap and hold, it tells you what volume that is at. So you you can have it anywhere down from its original volume here right up to your plus six db that you can have there so you can play with your volume and get that sounding right and that's the simplest way to utilize automation here in GarageBand. Another common use of automation is to remove breath sounds in our track so if we take a listen to this vocal soloed here take a listen between these two phrases for you so don't. So there's a big breath in there, yeah. So what I can do is if I'm not happy with that, and sometimes it's going to be okay with the rest of your instruments, but let's say I wanted to remove that. Again, we're going to slide in the top left here. We're going to tap a spot here. We're going to tap a spot here. And what I like to do is put a little triangle here. So I'll tap a spot in the middle. I'll then slide off in the top left, and I'll pull down this triangle and maybe bring it across a little bit and maybe bring this one across just so it's right on the start of that one there. And this gives us a little volume down and volume back up again between these phrases. Let's play this now. I don't have much left for you. So don't. So you can hear there that the breath sound doesn't go away completely because you're not bringing it down to zero and you're not leveling it all down, but it's just a nice little way to get a little bit less breath sound there and to remove some of those breaths in your vocal sound. And the third way that we're going to show you in this video is to fade out. So you can see on this second track here, I've already done this. So at the very end of a song in particular, you generally want to fade out any sounds. So vocals, guitars, any other sounds that you have there. So listen to this one. We'll play this back. For you. Now 
and you can hear there that after that final U sound, it'll slowly fade away. Otherwise, you're just going to hear me scratching and breathing and doing other things there. So that is the three most common ways you can use automation. Now, as I mentioned, there's a heap of other ways and there's other videos you can check out to learn how to use automation more. But just those three tips are going to really change the way that you manage your volume here in GarageBand. There you have it. How cool is automation? We've got two more videos all about automation if you want to learn even more linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner and I hope to see you on the next video.